Hey guys, what's going on? It's G69. How we doing? Um, back to review my gun again. My GNG that I it's the polymer version. I've got you know I've got it decked out to my likings. It's the M4A1 version, 9.6 battery, EOTech on there. Um, anyway, I hope hopefully I got point twenties in there. I'm pretty sure I do. Um, so let's go ahead and do it. I got 325 off that last reading just now. Oh, I hit the side. Three sixteen. It's not reading real good because I got to clean it out. Three twenty four. Three twenty seven. Three twenty four. And three twenty seven. All right, let's do fully automatic. That didn't re hit three rounds a second. That wasn't right. All right, 23 rounds a second. I'll do it one more time for you. That's 11. Can't be right. It's not wanting to read the RPS right now. It's reading the feet per second. 330. I think it's because I actually got BBs crumbled up in there. Let's try it again. It's shooting 22 rounds per second, though, at least. I've got BBs. When you when you shoot your when you got it, if you got an X-Cortec like this, when you shoot it, your BBs will break. If you're trying to do it like what I'm doing right now and film on camera. And you got it in the perfect spot and everywhere where it needs to be and stuff like that. It's kind of hard to do, you know. Damn, I just blew the shit out the back of it. It's hard as hell for it to read like that. It's, uh... BBs are spraying everywhere. And there it went. Okay, there went a good reading. There went a decent reading. 21 rounds per second at 323.81. So that's what that's what it's getting. I'm sorry it took so long for that. If you guys can see, it's screwed all up in there. I can see in here with y'all. But it's screwed all up in there. I've got paint chips all in there. Well, chip paint chips. I got BB chips all in there. Um anyway yeah you can see my little man metal pan target from here that's cool you can see that so we'll kind of unleash the beast for you and show you what she's about so i mean that's a regular gng only thing i got is in is an m120 motor um well i do got an extended barrel in there as you probably will be able to see. Um, not really. I thought the sunlight would hit it just right. Oh, there it is. Yeah, you can see a little bit. I'm sitting here actually filming. When my, it's clipped on my Christmas tree. So, yeah, yeah. Anyway, this is one of my babies. It's got a blown fuse in it right now. 420 was up. It's got a blown fuse in it right now, so I got aluminum foil wrapped around it and shoved the fuse back in there. It's not very good to do, but it's telling me that I'm running too too high of a motor, um, too fast of a motor. I got like I said, I got a GMP one M120 motor in there. Well, these only have an M100 spring in them, so that's why I'm getting such a fast rate of fire with only a 9.6 battery. You can imagine if I put 11.1 lipo in here, it'd be getting Four, about 43 rounds a second I'm not doing it I got one in there and I plugged it in and I just I tapped it 
and you can tell it'll have a it, but it, this ain't they're not shimmed and ready for all that you know what I mean if you want to do that then you know fix it up a little bit and do that but other than that on semi-automatic shoots great and I don't recommend dry firing it like I just did either um, bolt catch doesn't do anything on the GNG this is your standard typical mag that comes with it on this side it does say 5.56 millimeter by 45 hoping y'all getting some good light I'm gonna upload this in HD to as well um, these BBs into my hand real quick and put them in my pocket because every time you put your magazine in and out of your gun for y'all that don't know it will release a BB if they're still wound up in the chamber um, one way they know that you got a good magazine and a good shooting gun is if every one of your BBs feeds out of here if every one of your BBs feeds out of here you got a damn good gun um, that usually ain't the case Anyway, guys, what I wanted to say is, okay, like, you know, if you want to take your stock off, you just pull this lever down, pull your stock off, boom, you got it like that. You can wear it short-handed. You can put a fatty stock on there. I change mine out from time to time. Um, you can pull it down like that, or you can pull it down like this and pull it off the same way. Um, six position stock. There's one position. Two, three, four, five, six. So it is six position. Um, the battery, like I said, is stored right. Now, a GNG is kind of hard to pull on, but it's stored right there. As you can see, a beautiful intellect. It's just as pretty as it can be. 2300, or let me see, make sure. I think mine's 23 or 24. Yeah, 2300 mile. As you can see right there, 2300. And this, I got one on both sides. So you can see, and it's just right there to the Tamiya connector. Um, basically, you just fit it back in there. It's as easy as can be. It's hard to pull back on the delta ring, but once you got it back in there. Um, and the reason mine blew a fuse is because um, running it with this, with this motor. It's not really good to run it with a high motor, but one way to increase y'all's accuracy your accuracy, your rate of fire, and your rounds per second and everything is to, the first thing I would do is do a barrel swap. Um, then the second thing I would do is get you an upgraded motor. You don't have to go get, you don't have to get a GMP M120 like I have in here, but get something like a JG high speed motor. Throw it in there and see what happens. You know, ain't but 35 bucks or something, 30 bucks, see what happens. That's not that cheap, expensive of an upgrade. And you're not gonna burn it out. I've never personally had a, a AEG motor burnout on me, and and the L, in an LPEG I have LPEG, but not in an AEG like this, not in a decent AEG like this, no, never. And right now, guys, this you don't get the combat machine. It doesn't come with this on there. Of course, I put that on there. You know, that's a, a little zombie and shit on there, The Walking Dead. Um. But it comes with everything, you know, orange tip. It don't come with the EOTech on there. And don't come with the metal carrying handle. It comes with a more of a, a polycarbon carrying handle. Mine's metal because I got it off my other tan. I got an actual same exact gun. Same one as this, but it's the metal version. The way you can tell this ain't the metal version is because the, the white, white right there. Um, that's, you know, for, uh, stands for, uh, you know, my God. <sighs> combat machine regular combat machine anyway you can tell I got I do got a LMT I don't know what it is yeah LMT pistol grip on here it's very nice got the ceramic heat plate on the bottom and like I said the regular magazines about the best magazines you can get for these guns that's why they cost 28 bucks for one of them they're flawless they're the best magazines you can get well anyway with that guys this has been G69 strapped and loaded hope y'all enjoyed it this is for air it's for airsoft use only actually the EOTech that I got on there it says that on there still very very nice that's all you need ain't in a sense and all that other mess but 
Guys, I'm cutting it at 10 minutes. Y'all been great. Peace.